Hi, welcome back. So two of the questions I most commonly get asked in the comments section of my videos is, can I recommend an NMN supplier um, and where to get NMN from? Um, so I can tell you where to get it from, but I can't really recommend one particular supplier. What I can do is to go through three of the main areas that I think are very important when you're seeking out an NMN supplier that ultimately you will select to give you your NMN. Um, lucky for you, this is a PowerPoint presentation, so you won't get to see my ugly mug for the whole video. Uh, we'll jump straight in now uh, and we'll go through the points that I think you should look at, seriously look at, when you're working out who you're going to use as your NMN supplier. So I won't recommend any one supplier during this video. Um, I may make mention of a few, but just to highlight a particular point. Now this point may be a good point, or it may be a bad point. Neither should be considered as an endorsement or as a denouncement of that supplier or indeed of their um, product. There are so many faceless suppliers out there. Which one should you choose? What should you consider when choosing an NMN supplier? What should you pay for? Pharmaceutical grade or food grade? The logos appearing on the screen represent only a fraction of the suppliers who are wanting to sell you their product. Bottom line, they all want your money and they will use all of the marketing tools in the book to get it. But that's normal. They aren't breaking the law. But you need to look out for the things that they're not saying, the things that they are not putting on their websites. NMN is expensive and you want to be sure that when you hand over your hard earned cash, you get what you want. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what I look for when I see someone new has started to sell NMN. So let's look at the three main headings that I consider and also you may wish to consider when deciding who your NMN supplier may be. The first one is due diligence. You should do some investigation into suppliers um, that either you have found or have been recommended to you. You should look at what kind of third party testing protocols have been done by the supplier, if any, um, and which protocols would you expect them to do on your behalf. Also, we need to look at cost. What are the typical costs associated with the different types of NMN? I will cover each of these three headings in more detail. So the first thing you can do is your due diligence. Let's look at what you can do to satisfy yourself as much as possible with the NMN supplier that you may choose. The first thing you can look at is their website or their web page. Now remember, it is only a selling tool. It is the company's online face. Also remember that um, trusted platforms like Amazon and eBay, the trust that you have in that platform should not automatically transfer across to any supplier that is using that platform to sell their product. Aesthetics is also something you can look at. Um, does the web page look professional? Now, obviously, this is a subjective decision, but hopefully the bad ones will leap off the screen at you. The next thing is cutting and pasting. When you've reviewed quite a few web pages, as I have, you'll notice the same text and the same images are used time and time again. The problem we encounter here is who actually used it first. So let's take a look at a web page from an Amazon supplier and we'll look at um, some of the statements that I think I would want to um, question in an email to the company if I was considering using them as my NMN supplier. So the first paragraph, fairly standard, generic statements about um, NAD levels. The second paragraph about being tested and made in the USA. Um, the, the capsules are manufactured and tested right here in New York. Now, when they say manufactured, do they mean NMN is made in New York or the capsules are filled with NMN product that has been imported from a foreign country? 
The other statement in that paragraph is testing is available on request. Why on request? If you've tested your NMN and it's come out as pure and the, and the, the score is what you'd expect, why aren't they using that as a USP, a unique selling point to set themselves apart from all the other NMN suppliers who aren't um, automatically posting their testing results? In the third paragraph, the, the sentence I've highlighted there, NMN helps boost NAD levels to slow the aging process. I think what they've missed there, for those that know, is this has only been proven in my study so far. This sentence may well um, misinform or mislead someone who hasn't done their due diligence. Same in the fourth paragraph, um, NMN helps support your metabolism as you age to prevent age-related weight gain. And again, this has not been um, this has not been confirmed in humans yet, only in animal studies. So again, it may it may look like NMN could be used as a dietary supplement with no testing that proves that. So this statement again could um, could mislead someone who hasn't done their due diligence. What you can do during due diligence is to look at the returns policy. First of all, do they have a returns policy? Secondly, is it feasible? For example, will they refund you the money only if the bottle is returned unopened? Do you have to pay for return shipping? Is there a high restocking fee? And are any of these extra parts of the return policy there to put you off actually returning the product? Other policies that you should look for and should be there are terms of service. Do they have a terms of service? Does it look um, too generic? Uh, and could it be cut and pasted from somewhere else just to vein a certain amount of legitimacy on their site? Privacy policy. Do they have one? Uh, and do they say that they will protect your private data after your purchase has been made? The next one is social proof. Now, a lot of these companies don't have a brick and mortar storefront, so you can't go in and evaluate their operation. So they use social proof as a way of reinforcing um, their legitimacy and giving you confidence. So do they have testimonials? Are those testimonials on independent sites like Amazon, where the buyer can say what they really think? Or are they testimonials on the supplier's personal website, which could be fake um, or could be real? There's no way of really knowing. Do they have stock photos of David Sinclair with vague statements to give themselves some kind of legitimacy? Do they have links to YouTube videos which do not belong to them, but again, reinforce their legitimate legitimacy? Um, worse still, are they trying to pass themselves off as a laboratory with links to other organisation studies and research papers in a way to feign legitimacy? Now, there's a certain amount of gut feeling here and you will need to use it if you're going to seek out the imposter or the chancer. So the next thing on the checklist is third party testing. Um, third party test certificates are a way of reducing, but unfortunately not eliminating, the chance of buying substandard NMN. So the first thing is the company COA or the Certificate of Assay or Certificate of Purity. Um, the company should be able to show you their own certificate um, or at least one from the manufacturer. The next thing is the check for purity. So the third party certificate will show you a percentage score. And for pharmaceutical grade, you're looking at around 98 to 99% pure. The next thing you need is a check of heavy metals, arsenic, cadmium, lead, and mercury. Now this is a, is a very detailed subject um, and I'm going to do a separate video just about heavy metal testing because there's a lot of chatter on the supplement network about heavy metals in supplements especially coming out of China. So that video will come out hopefully quite soon. Certificates. So they must show you the certificate um, as proof that they have carried out third-party testing and not send them on request or send them in the package when you've actually made the purchase.
The best suppliers will post certificates of third party testing and ideally show you the batch number of that particular um, test and also where that batch number relates to the, the product that you've got. So the third point on the checklist is cost. Now, if you look at lots of suppliers as part of the due diligence process, you'll get a rough idea of what the average cost is. And the question to then ask yourself is, why would you pay more than the average? Also, too cheap may be a red flag. So at the time of making this video, NMN costs are roughly for pharmaceutical grade around $5 a gram. For food grade, um, which usually come in capsules, and it's usually 30 125 milligram capsules, that will set you back between $25 and $30. Now, something that's um, become quite popular and is in the zeitgeist is NMN that's mixed with other compounds. And the first compound that it's commonly mixed with is resveratrol. Now, see the reasoning behind that, because people do take resveratrol and NMN together. Um, but it's hard to work out actually how much you're paying for your NMN because resveratrol is much cheaper. The second thing that it's mixed with is NR, nicotinamide riboside. Now, NR is also an NAD booster. They're both there specifically to raise our NAD levels. Now, David Sinclair says that NMN does it better than NR, but NR has more trial data. So I would possibly want to drop them an email and ask what is the difference if there is one. Can anyone show me any evidence that explains the difference um, of the two and why a cocktail of the two would be more effective than taking one or the other? I'd be very interested to see comments in the section below that would explain why taking NMN and NR together would be of a positive benefit. So I hope this um, this video has helped. Um, as we all know, it's a minefield out there when it comes to selecting an NMN supplier. Um, and unfortunately, in my humble opinion, if the trials that are currently being conducted on humans prove to be positive, then I fear that um, competition, production, fake NMN, etc., um, all these issues are just going to be amplified uh, and it's going to become even more difficult to find a bona fide NMN supplier that you can trust. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, it certainly can be a minefield when it comes to selecting your NMN supplier. Uh, I'd be very interested to know if there are any factors that other people think should be considered when looking at websites or Amazon pages with regard to what you should look for in an NMN supplier. Uh, and I'd love to see those comments below. Uh, with regard to the heavy metals um, video that I said I would do, once I get all the data together, then again, I will be posting that um, as soon as is practicable. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Um, take care and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.